Well, hello everybody. We got some sun, beautiful blue sky, and this is Grandmother's Gold enjoying the farmer's market today in Amory. And we're going to open our second set here with, uh, with a song that most of you probably know, although I don't know if my grandson Jacob here knows it, who's helping the grandmas out with some recording. Thank you, Jacob. So I'm a local gal from Amory here, Beth Ray, and Maureen here is a seasoned poet from Minneapolis. Yeah, and if anybody's interested, I'll recite one for you here in this set. And I, a poet who plays music. George Gershwin. And it was also Porgy and Bess, right? It was part of that. Oh, it was part of that. Porgy and Bess. Okay, this is strange. This is uh, to do this song. I wrote it probably 20 or more years ago, and it's a bluesy song, but the words are positive. It's called Do the Things That Nourish You. Well, we really need that in this time. Swallow you up and tear your soul apart. 
Give yourself some silence Cause it will make you strong Breaking up and breaking down At times the world is spinning round I struggle for some clarity Release from your insanity You got to do the things that nourish you Feed your soul every day No to find a way the jaws of the world can swallow you up and tear your soul apart so do the things that nourish you It's a good song for this time too. Yeah. You know, do the things that nourish you. Definitely. Or find new things that nourish you, right. and there might be more of an array than you ever thought. Right. Where should we? Is that the old gals next? Yep. What are you doing that way? We got Willie on that. This is an old song. Uh, Beth has done a lot of singing uh, in uh, the nursing home and different uh, settings. And uh, it's kind of an old folk song, right? You know, kind of along with My Home's in Montana. As I was walking down the street, down the street, down the street, pretty girl I chance to meet under the light of the moon. Buffalo gals, watch come out tonight, come out tonight, come out tonight. Buffalo gals, watch come out tonight and dance by the light of the moon. I asked her if she'd stop and talk, stop. Her feet took up the whole sidewalk. She was fair to view. Oh, buffalo gals, won't you come out tonight? Come out tonight. Come out tonight. Buffalo gals, won't you come out tonight and dance by the light of the moon? Her song, but it's not. Jacob, is this recording okay?
lights were bright And we'd been up for many an hour All through my brain came the refrain of home and it's warm and fire Home sings me of sweet things My life They come in between the cities of tiring life And the trains come and go But inside, you know, the struggle will soon be a fight and Home sings me of sweet things My life it's all So I have this short little tale that I wanted to share with you. Um, back when I was eight years old, um, I went to the Unity House Settlement Camp on Pike Lake. Does anybody here, old timer, remember the Unity House Camp over on Pike Lake? Oh, you might. Anyway, it's where the shore view is now. And uh, my father was a camp director for both the boys camp and the family camp and the idea back then in the late 50s and 60s is they would bring inner city kids out and give them a, a country experience over on Pike Lake. So I remember being eight years old and coming through the channel into North Twin and putting the boat down and walking across the street and going to church, going to mass in the Catholic church that I believe was right along the shore at the time. So um, so I have this vivid memory of Amory in that way. So we learned all these varying camp songs when I was a kid over at the Unity House camp. And uh, so I thought just to honor the memory, it was a wonderful, huge old building and they had a totem pole, they tell stories and have skits at and they had a craft cabin. And now it's uh, uh, the supper club and uh, the, uh, 
It's an RV park over there. No, and they tore all the cabins down. The cabins had names of constellations, you know, Orion and Big Bear and Little Bear. So anyway, here's one of the camp songs. And uh, Jacob, would you want to come up and sing along with Grandma? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so it's just a silly little song. It goes, oh, I'm a hayseed, I'm full of seaweed. And my ears are made of leather and they flap in windy weather. Gosh, oh, hemlock. I'm strong as a pine knot, for I'm a camper, can't you see? So anyway, uh, songs like that were actually sung over on Pike Lake in the 50s. So just passing a little Amory area memorabilia on. <laughs> okay, I had to do that because we're in Amory. Well, I could do Little Butternut then, but it's just kind of a quiet song. Uh, talking about, you know, yeah, if you want to, sure. Oh, I was thinking that was my twin, but it's not. It's up in luck. I don't know. Maybe you want to do the John Prine. Let's do the John Prine. I think we should do Too Old to Die Young for, for Darlene. Okay. Why don't you want to do that one right now? Why don't you want to do that one right now? Yeah, let's do it for okay. Darlene. All right. This is sweet, though. by somebody named Mo Brick, Mo Bandy. Well, when we, we played this at Martell and we asked the audience if anybody knew who Mo Bandy was, and probably 13 people raised their hands. So there are people out there who know who Mo Bandy was. Yeah, I do. Don't. 
Thank you, Claudia. Yeah, it was Thank nice to listening. have you there. Thank you for coming and listening. Yes. Bye bye. Bye. So now Dean Hall. That was a song by Mo Bandy. I don't know if you heard us talking about it when you came up. Well, I recognized it, but I didn't you know did? where it was from. Oh yeah, I've heard that song. Oh. Mo Bandy. She's a old country artist. Right? I think it's a guy actually. I was surprised oh. when I when I looked it up on YouTube. It seemed to be a guy. But I know the two. Because that refrain is so beautiful. It it's is. just a caress. I know. Can we do the John Prine ones for Dean? Yeah, let's do the John Prine ones, and then we've got I Envision a World. Yeah. And you, you did Home already, yeah, right? Yeah, we can kind of wrap it up. Yeah, sure. We could do Home again. Well, okay, let's do... Uh, let's do um, Angel from Montgomery again. All right. Get us get us warmed up here. Nothing to 
one more John Prine we're going to do for you today, the late John Prine, and I'm sure you've probably heard more of his music in the last half year than you ever have. Rod 
Amsterdam I'll be halfway to heaven With paradise waiting Just five miles away From wherever I am Daddy, won't you take me back To Muhlenberg County Down by the Green River Where paradise lay I'm sorry, my son But you're too late in asking Mr. Peabody's cold train has hauled it away. <laughs> we we could have done that twice. Really? Yeah, I mean, no, I mean the second, you know, we could have, yeah, well, you wanted to do it twice, Mr. Pe the last line. <laughs> Who's going to ride the horse, Paige or Edward? Huh? Who's going to ride the horse? They did already. Fun. What was the horse's name? The one that I rode was Shadow. Cha Shadow? Shadow. Uh -huh. Did you like the horse ride, Edward? <laughs> Shadow facts. So, should we do another one or two and then end yeah. it? Yeah, we're, we've been playing for a while in the sun. and um, I wanted to mention uh, the, the Peabody coal mine in Paradise, interestingly enough, uh, put out a statement the week that John Prine died that they were closing. I thought it was an interesting serendipitous occurrence since that song was written in the 70s. But uh, the week that he died, they closed the mine. So um, there's also a mine expansion that is uh, somewhat contentious near Osceola right now. Where the runoff would go into our National Scenic St. Croix Riverway. So I wanted to mention there's a mining issue around Osceola right now. Uh, so maybe somebody else will come up and write a song about that. <laughs> Will there see one with us, Brad? Uh-oh. Might clear the joint. I'm trying to think what, what I'm in the mood to do. Um, well, we had Sunshine as the last one, but we could do uh, one of the... How about one of the fair ones again? I feel like doing oh, one of the fair ones again. Maybe? Can we do that? Oh, yeah. Uh, can you art fair? And then Sunshine? Sure. Or the other art fair one, if you like that. Um, Pike Street Market? The Kinney one, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. That's a big two on there, eh? Turned into a nice two. day here yeah. at the Amory Farmer's Market. <laughs> of September and the spirit was in the air. The alley was filled with color, there were people everywhere. From every booth a shortage line is hard to show the way. Exchanging goods for money that could never quite compare.
Oh, okay. For a minute, I thought you were going to do, may God bless and keep you always. <laughs> may your wishes all come true. Yeah. Just the chords, like, I, I didn't know we were going to do a Dylan song. You might know the song. You can sing it with us. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy. For listening, we had a nice time playing in the the clouds into sun here in Anchorage. We're gonna do it here. Can go for a walk? Yep. Right. Oh, and if you feel like dancing, by all means. <laughs> Children he gave her, Curtis, Abby, and Dee, and their 
for child little Gussie came ten years after these, and she raised them with a loving hand and the kindness said of mine. She raised them through troubled times, Agnes Strong will and I. I never even thought about how he'd react when he saw you guys. Oh, Agnes, won't you go with me? We'll be married in style, and we'll cross the lake of Michigan, so blue. Cross over Lake Michigan, we go to the shore, and orchards will blossom for our babies as they're born. Now this is the verse that tells you how old. Now three score years have gone and passed, like the fruit on the trees, and her children have children with babies on their knees, and they all join in the summertime. Now twelve years and four score. Oh, I never met him. Won't you go with me? We'll be married in style, and we'll cross Lake Michigan so blue, so wild. We'll cross over Lake Michigan to go to the shore, and orchards will blossom for our babies as they're Did you say 25? Nope, it's a little more. It's a little less than that. 20. So she's 4 That's 80. 80 plus 12 years old. So she's 92 years old. Yeah. Yeah, um, I first heard this when Beth came to play at uh, a Parkinson's home where my mother was staying. And a lot of the, the what was fun for the elders there is nobody had ever heard Agnes, a song called Lovely Agnes. And <laughs> so it's become a favorite. Okay. Well, we're going to do one more and then take a break because our, our butts are getting sore. <laughs> this is a song I wrote for another art fair in River Falls maybe 20 years ago. But just kind of bury the pace. What was that? Sure, I will. I'm going to find my... Uh, uh, so Beth and I are going to do a couple of uh, John Prine songs while we're here to uh, to remember uh, the late John Prine. I'm sure many of you are familiar with uh, music he wrote, but also music that other people made famous that he wrote. And I was unaware of. I thought Angel from Montgomery was written by Bonnie Raitt, and and it's not. It's written by John Prine, and I had thought. Uh, Hello in there was written by Joan Baez, and it's also written by John Prine. I always kind of like Chris Christopherson wrote all these songs that other people made more famous, and so so now in my life I always like to find out who it was that wrote the original song. Hold on a sec here, I gotta find out what I'm Two cables up. Yeah, key of A, harmony on refrain. Willie on second refrain. Yeah, yeah. The two cables up seem to work
work on her. But. Oh, okay. Pike Street Market. No. That's, that's the uh, easy one. I think I know it by heart. Okay, this is a song I wrote many, many years ago when I was in Seattle. And I was um, downtown at this incredible market called the Pike Street Market. And I had to write a song about it. And it's a bluesy song. It's one of the few bluesy songs I've written.
Will you go with me, honey? <laughs> we played it a little slower tempo, I think. Oh, before. Guess Who's Coming to Dinner? And it was written by Billy Hill. It's a great song. The Glory of Love. To give a little, take a little, and let your poor heart break a little. That's the story of, that's the glory of love. You got to laugh a little, cry a little, before the clouds roll by a little. That's the story of, that's the glory of
The stars, the stars, all bright, they'll shine on a world the Lord Himself designed. The stars, the stars, oh how bright they'll shine. On that home we will build in the meadow. Come, come, this wondrous land for the hopeful heart, for the willing hand. Come, come, there's a wondrous land where I'll build you a home. who wrote the original green sleeves maybe 300 400 years ago the melody endures through time some of our so one of my favorite songs is, in my life has been green sleeves and uh, I was teaching a workshop to elementary school kids one time and we took the melody from Green Sleeves, and we figured out how many other songs had been written from that melody, such as What Child Is This, is this the Christmas song, and then Home in the Meadow uh, from the movie How the West Was Won that came out in 65. Debbie Reynolds does this. Yeah, I think the volume's a little high on this. Um, Jacob, this my grandson Jacob here is helping, came along to help Grandma. Um, thank you, Jacob. Jacob Skelly. Oh, okay. Thanks, Jake. So, um, so anyway, uh, Home in the Meadow, uh, Debbie Ren Reynolds sings it in the riverboat scene in How the West Was Won. Hello, Amory, Wisconsin Farmer's Market. We are Grandmother's Gold, and my friend Beth Ray, who is one of your locals, is going to sing a song about the time when she lived on the Kinnickinick River, which you could think of the Apple River as well. So, Kinnickinick River by Beth Ray. Oh, Kinnickinick River, been such a home to me.
the original song by Beth Ray. Yeah, she's a wonderful singer-songwriter. Yes. Can you make water shit? We're waiting to ourselves. 